Hi, today we're going to look at Word 2010. As you can see, I've opened up Word and I've entered in a couple of words, enter text. Once I've entered those in, I've hit return and produced a new paragraph, because return, remember, enters a paragraph break. So today what we're going to look at is the show hide tool, which is the small button on the home ribbon. When I click on that, it will show me formatting marks which are normally hidden which allow Word to create the various formats within a document. So when you reopen it, it knows when you've hit the return key by putting in a paragraph break, when you've hit the tab key to move across the screen to get to a certain position, or when you've hit the space bar in between words or in between anything else. If I hit return again, I'm back down to another line. You may see other symbols like this one, which is a forced return, uh, or a line break creating a new line without creating a new paragraph. And again, that's something you may see if you open up a Word document. The Show Hide tool is excellent when you're editing existing documents because it allows you to see how the person who has sent it to you has formatted and made up the document. So if I enter text again, you can see that in between each of these words there's a small dot showing that I have actually put a space in. If I hit enter, I'm starting a new paragraph. If I switch show hide off, all these marks are missing, but I know how it's been made up. So if I received this document and I wondered how they managed to get a space between these two lines, I could assume they had to enter a number of times or somehow they created the space. Show hide shows me that enter's been hit, tab's been hit a number of times, so is space, so is a forced return. And then that line has happened. So it can show you complicated document makeups without you trying to guess on how they've made the document the way it is. A lot of people do that to get to page center. If I click on them, center to the page where I actually put in center and hit enter. And then I go back to the side. A lot of people use the space bar and try and get themselves along to the center so they can type the same word in the same place. And of course, you wouldn't know that by looking at it because they will both look like they're in the center. But when I put show hide on, I can see that one has been done using the space bar and one has been done obviously by centering it on page. And if I click on it, you can see up here, it jumps to center. When I click on this one, it's been left aligned and just used the space bar. So I hope that gives you a little insight into the Show Hide tool. I certainly use it all the time. It works within normal documents, within tables, within documents, and certainly helps you to format a document correctly, align things up correctly, and more importantly of all, edit an existing document. Thanks for listening. Once again, it's a snippet from Word 2010, and we hope to produce some more for the let you see them. Many thanks. Bye-bye.